Hello everybody, my name is Tasha and welcome to Heart of Tarts. Today on the show we'll be making a Peppa Pig tart. Now I had never heard of Peppa Pig before but I was watching the Zaccone Jolies or La Fluff TV from back in the day. If anybody knows them here on YouTube, they have a little precious girl named Amelia and she watches Peppa Pig every morning. And I was like, what is this show? We don't really have it here in America. And then I was watching cable, I don't have cable, but I was watching TV at my sister's house and I saw it on TV. Now, I think I got a little bit lost in translation. Even though it is in English, there are some cultural context that I really didn't get. But America has some weird children cartoons too, Caillou, like Brat. Anyway, moving on, people love Peppa Pig. In fact, Amelia's first birthday party was themed Peppa Pig, like the whole thing. So we are going to make a birthday cake alternative today and it is a tart for Peppa Pig. Here we go. So we're going to grind together one cup of cashews and one cup of almonds in the food processor until they form little little pieces they should form a fine crumb but I have this crappy food processor and that is just not gonna happen so as little pieces as you can get it with the device that you can afford then we're going to add in one cup old-fashioned oats one cup pitted dates and the zest of one lemon which is about one fourth teaspoon zest Blend that all together until the dough gets really, really sticky and really, really holds together. It takes some time to get the crust to a consistency that will work. And speaking of crappy food processes, I think I broke a second one. Like the top little piece kind of melted a little bit because it was going for so long. And, uh, food processors. If you all know a good food processor with metal pieces, let me know in the comments below. Now we're going to press our crust around the sides and bottom of a 9 inch tart pan that has been lined with parchment paper just to make it easy for everybody and you want to press really really firm until it like takes the shape of the tart pan. Place it in the refrigerator or the freezer until we need it. It'll really help it set. Now we can make our filling. Add two peeled and pitted avocados to the blender. I had to switch to the blender. I will use the food processor but we already discussed that. We're also going to add in one peeled banana. The juice of one lemon or about two tablespoons fresh lemon juice and one teaspoon vanilla extract. Now I was going to let this go and see how thick I can make my filling in the food processor but with the blender you definitely need to add about one fourth cup almond milk just to get it going. Like to get that vortex and to get everything spinning around. You may need to use your blender plunger if it comes with one or a spatula but be very careful because the blender will eat up the spatula and you'll get plastic pieces in your filling and it'll be a mess. But once that's blended creamy and smooth we're going to add it to our tart crust. Spread it around in an even layer and then we can move on to our topping. Back to the blender, we're going to add in one cup of whole strawberries along with one peeled and sliced banana. I'm going to reserve two slices of that banana for my eyes a little bit later, but add all the rest to the blender. Blend that together and you may need to use a spatula or a plunger or something just to get everything going. But then set that mixture aside for about 10 minutes and it'll kind of firm up and get a little gelatinous so it'll hold together for our topping. Now we're going to thinly slice about a half a cup of whole strawberries. You want to reserve the outer slices later for our cheek or whatever that dark blushy spot is on Peppa Pig's face. I don't know what that is, but keep the outside pieces and the rest we're going to cut them in half down the middle and then make thin thin slices to make our cartoonish outline for Peppa Pig's face. You may want to Google a basic reference picture of Peppa Pig to make your tart from. I'll include the URL for the one that I use down below. I've also started to make a grid on my sketches and on my tart filling to kind of help me put everything in its place. I made a Princess Jasmine the other day and she came out looking like a Picasso. She looked so abstract from like what I drew her to how she came out on the tart. Like she looked crazy. Like in a good way. But she looked great. Use the strawberry slices to create our cartoon outline of Peppa Pig's face. You want to stick them down vertically into the filling, but leave a little bit sticking out to help contain our strawberry banana topping that we made earlier. By doing it this way, you're going to get sharp, sharp lines and bright, bright color, which I love. I think it looks so vibrant and so pretty. We can go ahead and fill it with our strawberry banana filling. Just carefully fill it in as if you're coloring in a coloring book. It's like Peppa Pig 
pig coloring book that you can eat later. This is so awesome. If you have kids, make it with them. I think they will really, really enjoy it. Use the outer strawberry slices reserved from earlier to create that blushy cheek thing that Peppa Pig has on the side of her face. I have a little bit of one. I guess that's what that is. I have one. It's so pretty. Also, you can use smaller portions of the strawberry slices to make Peppa Pig's nostrils. They kind of denote her nostrils with like other pink spots, kind of like a pig, because she's a pig. So put her nostrils in place, and then you can place on her banana eyes and raisin pupils. I went back and used more strawberry slices to make pink outlines around her eyes. I made her eyes a tad bit too big. I probably could have made them a little bit smaller, and she would look more proportionate and just better in general, but I think it works. Does it work? Let me know in the comments. I think it works. I think this came out perfect and cute and beautiful, and I like it. Do you like it hopefully yours comes out looking like this or better and if you want to sweeten up the filling you can add in more dates or less dates I didn't add any dates to my filling I just let it be the avocado lemony goodness but I know everybody doesn't like avocado as much as I like avocado so you can add in more raisins more dates more strawberries whatever you want this is your tart this is your thing I'm just a catalyst to help you reach your sugar-free heights <laughs> that's so funny one last thing, speaking of sugar-free, if you've ever wanted to go sugar-free, I have a friend from college named Jacqueline. She has an entire program to help you go sugar-free. So if you've ever thought about going sugar-free, check out the link below. She has a class coming up. It's almost time for enrollment. Whether you want to drop and go cold turkey or just wean over time, she can help you out and it will be awesome. Summer's almost here and you want to get it right and get it tight. <laughs> that is it for today. Bye.